Good afternoon, it's Jeremy. It's Wednesday, December the 7th. And today I'm looking at the uh, Inmarsat patch antenna here. I've just got it mounted on a kind of a gorilla pod type of stand. And I'm sweeping it with the uh, Nano VNA. Now the Nano VNA I have uh, goes up to about uh, 1.5 gigahertz. Uh, but I'm sweeping here from one meg to 1.8 gigs. And I'm kind of hoping that the SI chip inside will actually go a little bit higher than the spec, and it seems that it will. So right now we're showing, um, this is the uh, SWR, and I've got it calibrated uh, one unit per division. Before you do, do a measurement on the antenna, I've got a uh, an SMA uh, jumper cable here connected to the antenna. Uh, you have to use the open circuit, the short circuit, and the 50 ohm termination to do a calibration over the frequency range of interest. So right now you can see a nice dip, very, very low SWR at the Inmarsat frequency around 1545 megahertz. I've connected it to my um, PC as well. So there's nano VNA software. So you can get a very nice display here and you can adjust it on the PC. What you have to do when you first start is make sure you're on the right COM port. So you can use the device manager to see what COM port the uh, device is connected to. Then you connect. Um, actually, before you connect, set this setting down here to SWR on S11. That's port one looking uh, into the antenna, not through. So set that first um, before you do the connect. And then once that's done, if there's no problem with the connection, then get data. And then you can adjust with the various controls here, you can adjust your display. So it's a, a very quick and effective way of looking at the SWR of the antenna. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is I wanna do some more experiments uh, with a patch antenna uh, over a wider frequency range to see what other objects and other signals I can get besides the Inmarsat satellite. And the nice thing about the patch antenna, it has some directivity to it and as well as very portable. Um, so that's, that's the reason I'm doing this.